they used uh, 20 pieces of spaghetti, a yard or a meter of uh, tape, a meter of uh, yarn, and got to build the tallest possible freestanding structure that incorporates a marshmallow at the top. Uh, they're going to be working in small groups throughout the semester. They're going to be building, constructing, designing, uh, prototyping, sketching various contraptions. An important part of what they're doing this year in science is they are having to work in groups. Collaborative skills are really important. So they were in there having fun and building and trying to get their marshmallow to be as high as possible. But what we were really looking at and um, then talking about afterwards was when was a moment when um, you felt that your group is working well and what were things that were hard about your group um, and the way it was working so they could process some of the skills that are involved in being part of a group. They got to collaborate with each other, which they're going to have to do a lot of. They got to use their hands, take notes, put measurements in there, do sketches. And I think it was pretty successful. We talked about why do we work in groups. Um, even though it's easier sometimes to be sitting by yourself working, it's actually a better final product if you are working with other people's ideas being added um, to your own. We always heard that lower school students uh, tend to do better than upper school students and even better than uh, older people, adults. That's why we had a group of adults in the classroom too. What I saw from these lower school students in the first two minutes I have not seen before. It was great. It was fantastic being there and seeing all the kids uh, working older, younger, they seem not to care at all. I think the tallest structure was about 66 centimeters. 